So yesterday, the Pivot Podcast dropped, and guess who was on there? Floyd Mayweather, and guess who we spoke about? Diddy and 50 Cent. Let's get into what he had to say. Even like P. Diddy. Um, I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy, um, because he's still a black man. I mean, um, mistakes happen, and I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake, but things happen in life. And P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the internet and, and stump him and kick a man while he's down. Um, my take on it is, it's not my business. Um, I don't think it's right at all. And I don't condone it. Even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt. But um, that's the choice that my daughter made. Yeah. So I don't want to kick nobody while, while they're down. I think the big thing, because I have girls too, is though, no boys? It, I have a boy too. Okay. Is one, if your son is in that position or your son is accused of those things that Diddy was accused of, like, I'm going to believe in my son and what he says, but I'm gonna check him about that. I'm gonna check him about whether or not these are things you've done. I'm also gonna check him about being putting himself in those positions. And on the other side that we have to be very careful of, especially when talking about women, is that if those things are true, right? And some of the things are true. Yes. That wasn't a decision they made, right? That, that's, that's something that was done to them. And I'm definitely, I wasn't in those rooms, so I can't cast aspersions on Diddy and say that he did it or he did do it or he's an evil man or he is. What I am saying is if those things happen to those women, not yes. only is it not right, it's also not their fault. Mm -hmm. We was like one month old last so you know his history with 50 Cent and him saying it's nobody's job to kick Diddy in or stomp him while he's down and stuff like that. You know, 50 took that as a subliminal mention because, you know, Diddy, they didn't even ask him about Diddy. You know, that's the context and stuff like that. So Diddy responded by posting a video on Instagram and saying, you know, facepalm emoji. They didn't even ask him about this. Champ, is you stupid or is you dumb? Get the F out of your head. You sound like a hater. Did he do it? Coming soon. He made another post a couple hours ago, basically reposting the double XL, you know, post about him and said, I was chilling till this guy tried to come around and defend S.A. And even saying if it was his daughter, it would be her choice. You know, he put his, you know, brands there as far as the cognac and all that. Now, I get the stuff with 50 out the way. You know, as far as 50, I could understand why he would, you know, go with Floyd because 50, number one, doesn't let anything go. Number two, he wasn't even on Floyd recently. I thought they patched things up. I don't know. I'm not 100% positive about that. But Diddy has been, you know, pretty much getting cooked by 50 the whole time 50 has really been the only one vocal about it and this is the thing as well the media really shied away from saying especially all matter of fact academics did as well can't even lie on that he was on diddy head top but those are the main two who are on diddy so with that i think 50 is granted in his response and stuff like that and i don't even think his response is that heavy but we need to talk about floyd real quick man shout out to ryan clark for basically saying some rns you know some real ninja stuff you know while that well, after, right after floyd said that and basically said you know this is how a man should handle it he didn't say that but i feel like most men would agree that's how it should be handled if it's your daughter it's ridiculous for him to say you know if it was my daughter she made that choice i could understand if your daughter chose to date a convict if your daughter chose to date a guy who was putting her through freak offs and, you know, she didn't know the freak offs was coming. She didn't know this was even a thing. And it happens to her. You know, at that point, she's a victim. So, you know, you, you I'm not going to call what he was saying. I mean, it kind of is victim blaming. I don't like that term, but that's kind of what he did. He said, you know, the responsibility is on her. I think the responsibility is on her once she knows what she's into as far as stepping away. If she's intimidated, I get it. You know, that's where other male figures in her life are supposed to come in. 
But even outside of that, the only way it's a conscious choice is if you continue to stay after the abuse or you see all the signs and red flags and et cetera before you even get in a relationship, before you even get with this guy, while you're still in the dating phase. And just just all first look like, oh, yeah, he's a killer. Like, and that's not Diddy, but I'm just saying, for example, you know, hypothetical, you know, so with that being said, I, I, I just cut through all the BS, man. Floyd don't stand for nothing. If you remember the Gucci boycott when it was going on, when they disrespected, you know, black people with their stuff, I'm not going to lie. I don't really... I, people like Floyd or why I don't buy into corporate boycotts anymore because the truth is, it's always going to be a nigga that's just going to do what he going to do. It's always going to be a nigga to go against the grain. It's always going to be a nigga to speak against a boycott Floyd got a lot of money. He's very famous. That means he's influential to some extent. When f confronted with the camera, he's like, I'm going to go in the Gucci store. Now, this is the thing about him not standing for shit. It's ironic in both of these situations. We're, as far as you know, there's supposed to be some Gucci boycott. Let me keep it 500000 Most people listening to this don't buy Gucci. It's some upper echelon shit. I don't buy it. I had some Gucci glasses around that time, whatever, whatever. But, you know, as far as most of the brand, most of this shit is really expensive. So most people don't buy that shit. But, you know, while black people were supposed to be boycotting Gucci because... You know, we were disrespected. This nigga just says we going to go in the Gucci store. But remember, T.I. was the main person leading that boycott. So the fact T.I. was leading the boycott, you could say there was some extra spice there as far as like he boycotting the shit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go shop at Gucci today. That could have been, you know, a uh, ulterior motive. You know, as far as him going there and stuff like that, you know, that could have been the case. But even when you look at him bringing up Diddy and defending Diddy, 50 is the one who been on Diddy's head top. So is it like you you look at controversial things going on with people and decide to or or entities as far as companies and you decide to support them when your enemy is going against them? Is, is that what this is? And it's weird in this case, being that, like 50 said, this is S.A. allegations. And in the other case, it's racism. So with all of that being said, man, you know, buddy, get, he, he get the money and we love him in boxing and stuff like that. But when it comes to this type of shit, it's like, bro, this this be the reason why I say I don't want entertainers to be our black leaders. I just don't because they are not qualified and they are not fit. They are just rich. That's all. They are just rich and famous. They are not qualified to lead us just because they're rich and famous. On that note, I'm out.